today we tackle Missouri. Hey everybody, I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul, and we did in fact leave Grand Island, Nebraska this morning. Hung out with the Basils. They took me to dinner. This idea of staying at friends' houses and thinking I'm going to edit in the evenings is... It doesn't work, but this is great. The, the experiences have been wonderful to hang out with the people that we live with on the road all the time in their own domiciles. It's just so incredible. I did, in fact, sleep in the Tahoe last night. It was great. A little chilly. And as much as I pissed and moaned about the cold last year, I'll take it. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do. I plan on spending all of Wednesday, which is tomorrow, in the Kansas City area. I had a few hit list things that I wanted to do, and it's noon right now. I'm already in Missouri, an hour away from the first destination, and I don't know why I tease you guys with this shit, because you've already seen the thumbnail, and you know where we're going. But I've been fascinated with Jesse James, kind of always have. I think everybody was growing up. In 1989, I was at the National FFA convention in Kansas City, and our advisor, Sam, we played hooky one day. He rented a bunch of cars for, well, two cars, took everybody that was at the convention we went and hit a lot of history around Missouri and we went to Jesse James's farm and I always wanted to go to his home in St. Joseph I looked and it's right on the way I had no idea so we're gonna go do that and then hit a couple other things that I didn't get to before on our way into Kansas City where I've got a place lined out to stay tonight well I just outside of Kansas City and then uh, I think I'm changing up my plan a little bit sample of it. Gary was just telling me here that uh, the curator of the museum that's been a curator for 50 years voiced that recording back in, did you say the 70s? 1977. 1977. And they're still using the same recording. Shoes down here, those mm -hmm. were his brother Frank's. The shaving mug above it was Jesse's. The far right bottom, the glasses were Jesse's mother's. Revolver at the wide handle was Frank's. My favorite, most unique piece is the rattlesnake tie that was worn by Frank. Oh my gosh. I filmed that earlier and I did not pick up on that. That is incredible. This was the sink here, right? They used it here? Yes. So it's funny because Vicky wants me to build one of those for our laundry room. And now I've got a great thing to go off of. I'm going to build a replica of that. I got all the stuff to do it. That's going to be awesome. And then this was given to Jesse by a school teacher. Yes. And that's this sort of the, the book we signed in on and I signed in. Yesterday I signed in to somewhere right behind some people from Australia. But I signed in right behind some people from France today. That is cool. Yeah. Uh, just to give you guys a full view of the where you come in. So this would have been the kitchen I assume? This, yeah. This was okay. the kitchen. That was Jesse's bedroom. Back one was the two kids in the bedroom, that was the main part the main, of it. Okay. I'll be dang. All right. So, again, I don't know if you heard, but these, this was their, their kitchen set. Neither of them the chair that he was standing on when he got shot, but these are actually the chairs that belong to Jesse. So, this stuff all incredibly preserved. But here's some original photos of the house as you go down the timeline. Try to get you some stuff that you can pause and look at and read all this stuff. Remarkable that it was preserved. But 
that there was a lot of speculation that, that Jesse wasn't actually killed, that he was, it was an imposter. And uh, this just details that they exhumed him and they took DNA. I think it was from his great grandson that they tested it against. And I don't know if there's any other person in history that uh, you probably know somebody said that says I'm related to Jesse James. Everybody says that. Also, okay, so there's your DNA donors. Bob Jackson and his nephew Martin Nickel. Wild. These are this is the ornamental stuff off of the the glass top coffin, which I think they had the glass top coffin at the house when I went there last time. And uh, again, that's 30 plus years ago, but uh, they had the original one. So I'm assuming they put him in a new one when they relocated him to Kearney, which he was actually buried in. Uh, in the yard of the, the Jesse James farm, but this is all the ornaments off of Jesse's coffin. This is a bullet they found in his right lung, uh, but it was from a near fatal shot with a skirmish with Union soldiers, so not the one that killed him. That was pretty awesome. I pretty much had the place to myself, just me and Jerry. He was letting me in on a bunch of stuff in there. We're gonna go do the Petit House. He said that that is pretty incredible. I didn't plan on spending this much time in St. Joseph, but there is so much here that uh, I'm gonna push my plans back to tomorrow to go out and do a couple of the other things that we we're gonna do, and we're gonna hang out in St. Joseph. I'm gonna wrap this video up here uh, because there's just so much more. This, this museum is massive here, the Petit House. So. Uh, we'll catch this one on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, going on this journey with me. I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul. May the best of your past be the worst of your future.